Hey, welcome back. Uh, if you've already watched some paper crafting videos, thank you for your support. And if this is your first one, we're gonna work on um, a shaker topper that's XOXO for hugs and kisses. And um, you can either use it for like a cake topper or a scrapbook topper, border title thing, or you could um, use it for a decoration. You can use it on your tiers, um, like your three tier counter space decoration thing. There's lots of options. So I've already got some things cut and I've already done a few things with some glue dots um, and some glue just to kind of get us ahead a little bit. There are three um, words or phrases, hugs and kisses, and I've, I'm layering them so that they're just a little bit thicker for dimension and um, without using pop dots because obviously they're kind of thin. So the first thing I'm going to do is finish up these. Um, so just add a touch of glue to the back of the word. Hopefully you've already got all yours cut out. If not, you can watch this, go cut it out, and then come back and watch it again if you've got questions about where stuff goes. Um, there's a lot going on here in a little tiny space, like lots of layers, lots of things to to pop and add dimension to. Okay, so I'm just gonna squish that around until I get it where I want it. Um, there, it's got a few layers there, so it's kinda, should line up pretty easy. I got some stuff to grab onto. It's getting a little more substantial. I think we're at layer three. Okay, so there's the hugs. It's gonna go over here. I'm gonna just set it up there for right now. And then kisses, same thing. I've got two layers already done. I've already done the ampersand. Um, I'm not sure why, but for, my Cricut only cut out one of the dots for the kisses. So I've set that aside. I'm trying not to lose it because it's the only one I have. If I do lose it, I'll just go find a scrap dot or I don't really want to like load the Cricut just to cut one more dot. If anything, I'll use like a, one of those sprinkles or something. That might be a better idea anyway. Layer a few of those. Um, they're kind of thin. Way more paper thin than I anticipated they would be. Okay, so then kisses. This is probably the most tedious part. I suppose I could have cut some foam or something. I just feel like it would be too intricate for anything else that was gonna like add dimension. So this was the best way to kind of get it to pop up without having something else behind it that was visible. Okay, I guess that'll get glue when we're done. Okay, so there's the kisses. I'll put that over there. Uh, the black piece is the very, very back. And I have added foam tape to the back of one of the white ones. They're the same size, but I'm kind of just put two in there so that you could get a little more oomph out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and take the, um, the backing off of this foam tape and lay it down. And then pull it off the top one, or the top of it, to put the other part down. And then we'll work on the, the shaker box part. I just put some of these on so that you didn't have to sit through me putting tape everywhere and I cut my shaker boxes out of a sheet of foam tape and there was like the inside of the circle was left over so first I started cutting it up using it and then I was like well that was silly because this it's perfect for right there so don't cut that circle up reuse it if you cut it out of foam tape like that um so I'm just gonna line this up with border And I'm happy to lay it down. And then do the same thing with these. I'm wondering, it's, it's probably gonna be easier to work on white. I'm gonna set this aside for just a second. We're gonna work on the white here, just so it's easier for you to see. And then we'll come back and put that on the black. Uh, there was one other thing to attach to this before we do that though. These, and I'm gonna end up losing that kiss dot. And put it right here. Okay, so there's some white dots just to add a little bit more dimension up here along the um, hearts. 
and I'm gonna glue the white ones down and then pop dot the color ones. So you'll see I've already kind of got the pop dot started on my foam dots over here. Have tweezers on order I'm going to learn to use the tweezers we'll see how that goes but for some reason two-day delivery on Amazon has turned into two week and you can't seem to get anything in a decent amount of time okay so there's the bubbles done too now that can all just be set aside for a second. We'll come back to those. Okay, so then you've got this white and I've got the pink background and then this is the, um, it's the same foam tape that I used to cut out for the shaker circle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the X's done. And the white, this white's gonna be pop dotted. It just kind of depends on how much dimension you want. If you want a layer of foam or pop dots between every single layer so that it's way thicker, go for it. I think I'm gonna just glue these down. And then glue, and then that white one's obviously gonna be pop dotted because I've already got that finalized over there. And my finger got in the way on that one. This um, foam tape. I got for the shakers is no joke like when it sticks it sticks okay so I'm gonna glue those there I'm just gonna do that now so that it gets out of my way and I don't forget and then I have pop dotted this pink so I'm gonna just pull that off and then that'll allow us to glue the white down for the hugs and kisses. I'm kind of just working my way across the thing. I find it easier if I like kind of lay things together and kind of prep them so that I know where they go. And then when I'm ready to actually start sticking them down. I'm not sticking them in the wrong spot or confused about where they go because sometimes there's a lot of pieces to keep track of. And then I start wondering, where did I want that? What was that supposed to do? How come that's even there? Why is that a thing? It's like mechanicing. You shouldn't have parts left over, but you will. Um, also, speaking of parts left over, you're going to end up with um, seven hearts. Um, because of the inside of these two pieces right here. And honestly, these are just extra. You can use them for whatever else you want, or you can use them to add more dimension. But the three that you need are just those three for the top of this. So see, mechanicking again. Okay, I'm gonna add some glue to the kisses and get this on there. So I can get that dot glued down and not I'm still debating though I think maybe one of these sprinkles might be better let's do that let's just lose the dot eh. I'm gonna put it over there in the extra pile just in case for later if one of those doesn't look good or if I change my mind but I think those little pink ones right there with the white would look super cute okay I'm gonna slide these out of the way just a second and we'll work on the X and then we're coming back to those for the shaker I had these cut out of the Cricut on the foam core too, um, not because I couldn't just like run some tape over it, but because I wasn't sure if these were going to be thicker than um, my foam tape, and so I wanted it to be the same dimension for this red on this as it's going to be on this, so um, I just went ahead and cut it out of the foam core just to be safe, but I, honestly you could probably just run like a strip of foam tape back there, you wouldn't have to cut it out. H there. 
Okay, now just set these here so we remember to put them there, finish this hugs end, and then we can do the shakers. Sorry, kind of squirreled on you there. I went a little bit here, a little bit there, back to this, back to that. It's just when my brain's working this morning, or not working. I have to mention with those three layers it's super cute you wouldn't think just two more layers of paper would add so much oomph but it does you can feel it too it almost feels like a piece of chipboard in your finger once you've got the three layers instead of paper it's kind of cool oops yeah that's nice and sturdy okay we are ready to make a shaker and i'm going to just pull this away from stuff so that i'm not making a mess I have foam dotted the top of this white one as well so that you've got a little bit more shadow and dimension when you put that on there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is the foam core that I cut out and I'm just going to line it up on this O. The back of it kind of along the scallops as best as I can. I'm going to leave the protective stuff on the top of that just so I'm not making a mess right off the bat. It's still going to be a mess. Who are we kidding? back off that one. I don't know if it's less messy to have them kind of get stuck to it as you're trying to put it in there or to try to pull that off while they're in there. So yeah, here goes nothing. I can't remember if these were opened yet or not. They were. Okay. So these are just the buttons galore sprinklets and these ones are like conversation hearts mixed with hearts and stuff. There, There's a conversation heart pack that's just conversation hearts that's super cute. And then I've also got like that, um, it's just like a pack of pink sprinklets. I think that's a little much. We want them to kind of move around there. This isn't going to be too bad. It's not like glitter bad. Okay, and then we have to decide, do we want those round ones for the top of the kisses? one of those pink hearts. I think we could layer two of those. That would be cute. We're going with that. Okay. And that's probably enough. You just want them to be in there, but enough room to move around too. Okay. And then I have the acetate hiding over in the corner. I'm trying not to get that stuck to me. That one popped up. Okay. So I just cut circles out of the acetate to put on there. And I love this foam tape for sticking to this stuff. It is amazing. The circles in the cut file are kind of orange so that you know that they're not part of the actual, like, they're not a paper design. And then um, they're a little bit thinner than this O so that you can take advantage of the stickiness if you're using a foam tape, see how sticky that is? Take advantage of that stickiness to get the, um, did I not, I didn't pull that one off yet. Duh. Um, to get your, your round pink one down. You can add some glue too, it's going to hide it, but you can also use just the stickiness of that foam tape to get that down. Okay, so then the pink layer. And you just line up your scallops with the back as close as possible. Should be a cute little shaker. Yay! And then this one. Again, just do your best to line up your background. There's a ton of scallops there. It's not going to work very well, but... Okay. And if it's offset a little, that's okay, too, because you kind of want to see that red. You're going to see it through the window, but then... Shakery. Okay. And foam dots off this. I feel like that one's going to come back to haunt me. It didn't come off my finger very well. Okay. And then this one should have a border on the inside and the outside. So just do your best to line your heart up. And kind of eyeball on the top of that and the bottom here. I bet this one's going to be cute on a scrapbook page or something. I haven't decided what to do with mine yet. And stick it on the fridge. 
Okay, and then those get glued there. Oh, we're gonna kind of bump into that top of that hugs, just kind of tuck it underneath your paper there. Same with this one. It'll tuck underneath the layers though. heart thingies for eyes. I got two, so I'm going to layer them. They're really thin, like super thin. Okay, and then we have to decide how we want to pop dot these. I think I'm going to glue the pink ones down and then pop the red. Okay, and then we are ready to put this on the black one. That's super cute. Look how thick that is. It's so rattly. So we've got all these to take off and then we've got these to add and we are done as complicated as it looks it's actually pretty fast and simple to put together i haven't been working on it that long i think i took more time just to prep stuff to make it easier to watch than i did to make it and deciding where i wanted foam tape You can see where I was cutting circles and just making wonky. I was using up scraps. Okay, so then we're gonna lay this down. And this one just lines up with that white. It's not like a border. It's there just to add a little bit more dimension. Okay, and then pop dot these. I think I had pink on the outside, red on the inside. fun is that okay so now you've got either a scrapbook page title elements thing you could I mean you could make a decent sized card with that if you wanted to or um, a cake topper or put this in one of your three tier decorating elements it's you got some options there okay so if you like that go ahead and hit subscribe like leave a comment if you have questions let me know I'm happy to help uh, visit the shop for more paper craft files shop.lemonyfizz.com and thanks for watching